This is a video on the glomerular filtration rate. I'm drawing a Bowman's capsule, a nephron, and then there is the tubular part of the nephron. These are the glomerular capillaries, the efferent arteriole, the efferent arteriole. Now, across the glomerular capillaries, ultrafiltration occurs. This green arrow is for ultrafiltration. The green arrow is for ultrafiltration. What is ultrafiltration? Ultrafiltration is bulk flow across any capillary. Ultrafiltration is bulk flow across any capillary. So across the glomerular capillaries, ultrafiltration occurs and this is known as glomerular filtration. The rate at which it occurs is known as glomerular filtration rate. This bulk flow across the capillary is the same as that of plasma. It is the same as that of plasma, but it is devoid of plasma proteins and red blood cells and any other cells but it is devoid of plasma protein and cells of the blood. So no proteins are filtered, no cells are filtered. We are going to study the definition, the determinants of GFR and the formula for GFR. Beginning with the definition, GFR is equal to amount of glomerular filtrate formed each minute by all the nephrons of both the kidneys by all the nephrons of both the kidneys amount of glomerular filtrate formed each minute by all the nephrons of both the kidneys and its value is 125 ml per minute or 180 liters per day. So GFR is equal to filtration coefficient, filtration coefficient that is Kf into net filtration pressure. Remember Starling's forces, watch the video on Starling's forces. So the Kf or filtration coefficient is equal to permeability into surface area of the capillaries. Permeability into surface area of the capillaries. And its value is calculated to be 12.5 ml per minute per millimeters of mercury, which is 400 times that of the systemic capillary, 400 times that of the systemic capillary. Then there is a glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure, which is the main pressure favoring filtration. Its value is calculated to be 60 millimeters of mercury. I'm labeling it as D, the filtration coefficient as A. Now B is the Bowman's capsule hydrostatic pressure, which is opposite filtration. There is pressure in the Bowman's capsule of the blood and it is opposing filtration. By micro pipettes, its value has been calculated to be 18 millimeters of mercury. 18 millimeters of mercury there is another holding pressure that is pi gc that is glomerular colloid osmotic pressure which is glomerular colloid osmotic pressure that is the glomerular pressure due to plasma proteins and that is 32 millimeters of mercury so now coming to the net filtration pressure. Pg minus Pb plus Pi Bs minus Pi G. It is plus Pi Bs. But so it is 60 minus 
125 ml per minute per millimeter of mercury into 60 minus 32 minus 18 plus 0. Why pi BS is 0? Because you guessed it right, no proteins are filtered, therefore there are no proteins in the Bowman space, therefore osmotic pressure of the Bowman's capsule is 0, pi BS is 0. So 12.5 to 10, 60 minus 32 minus 18 is equal to 125 ml per minute or 180 liters per day.